right here double click do you want to to allow this app from a known publisher to make changes to your, to your device i just hit yes okay so this is a windows 64 setup so make sure that you're downloading the right software it's either 64 or 32 bit okay so right here you just hit okay let me close this window you hit okay you right here you just hit next right here you agree the the software is completely free you don't have to pay anything um right here is the default destination folder where it's gonna where it's going to install if you want to change it then you go ahead and make the changes here otherwise just hit next right here just hit install no problem completed next and finish okay so if it's not on your desktop as you can see it's not here we just go into the menu button go all the way down to the v and it's right here vmpk right here so you click and it will open and in order to to program it we go here into edit midi connections that uh, you will do that first midi connections and i have this audio box 1818 midi input so my keyboard is going in this this audio interface through midi midi cable is just a regular five pin midi cable i don't need the output because all i want is whenever i press the keys it will show automatically as you can see okay so you could enable midi input enable omni mode so any channel that's coming into your computer from the keyboard it will automatically show i disable the output because i'm not going to use it so hit ok and it will start showing you have different uh preferences let me show here if you have a an 88 keyboard which starting key you want with a if you want 88 keys or whatever keys you want it will display here okay midi right here i enable enable midi channel state consistency okay always on top i disable it i don't want it always on top if you want to enable the mouse input so you can play your keyboards your regular letter keyboard and it will have an input if you want to do that that's optional you know so um for what i needed this is good this um configuration is good as you can see it's working perfectly no problem to me this software is very very reliable right here we got uh we got to move the the octave a little bit lower let me see if i can do that here octave down let me see another octave down let me do that right now uh program controller controller down no <laughs> okay preferences controller program no input uh next channel previous channel view i got lost here for a second i got lost bear with me for a second because it should be over here oh this is not right but it still works though just want to point out it still works yeah but it should be a little bit lower 
got lost here for a second. Controller down. Oh. Still got an, an octave. We should go lower on an octave, but I can't find it. So to me, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that it works. Okay, so there you go. That's, that's how you um, program it or configure it. Let's go to the next one, which is Mediculous. And this is how it looks. This is the one that I always use for piano tutorials. So you go in here, Options, Preferences. You want 76 keys or you want 88 keys. You could split the colors of the, of the key showing. It could be blue or red. I'm just have them on blue. Okay, so you go here into audio MIDI preferences. MIDI synth, I have none because I'm using a sound module. Right here, I put Windows. Right, right here, I got the output, which I'm not using, I believe. I don't know. And sample rate 44 and the buffer 256. And the input is the audio box 1818. That will be my MIDI in because remember it's connected by MIDI cable 5 pin from this keyboard into the interface, the sound interface. And the sound interface, the 1818 has MIDI input and output. So I just enable it here. Okay, if I don't enable, it's not gonna work. As you can see, as soon as I enable it, it will, it will show. MIDI output, I'm not using MIDI output because I don't really need it. If you want to route something to the MIDI output, you need to connect from the output your source output right into whatever you want to connect it to so it will route it from that output the one that you're going to select here in my case it would be this from this into whatever i want to connect it into and then it will be routed okay so i don't need this so that's why i put none here and that's it it's done perfect it works nice this is pretty good like i said i will always use it for my video tutorials about piano always always use it and the bmpk is super reliable because never had a problem with it the only thing that i like ridiculous is because it shows it showed me the what you call it the chords not just the notes on top of the keys, as you can see, but it showed me the chords. And that is, for me, that's what I need. Perfect. So I use either or, you know, you could open both at the same time. You, that doesn't have anything to do. But if you're going to record into your DAW, I recommend that you just use one of them. Don't use both of them. Right? Just use one in case that you need it. If you don't need these to record into your DAW, then you just close them both. You don't need them. Okay? So this is the video tutorial. Hope you like it. Hope it helps you though. I'll see you guys on the next. Leave me your comments. God bless. See you then.